Hello folks, your host Node of Outrocks here, back with some more of the Grand Order, and we're nearing the final stages of at least part one of the event, at least from my understanding. So with that being said, let's go ahead and tackle the quest. And it looks like we're facing what it appears to be a chimera, I want to say. It doesn't really state, it just says that it's level 7. And the name of the quest is Tusk. Either one of these summer support servants is nice. But I won't require the assistance. Because this is all I will need. Section 7, Tusk. You've gathered a lot of materials. If you keep it up, we'll be able to build a statue soon. I still don't see the point, to be honest. However, we already made that decision as a whole. We've entered the final phase of preparations for construction of our escape ship. A statue is a beacon of hope. It'll keep morale up. I think it's important we build one. Could it be like a figurehead placed in front of ships to pray for safe sailing? That's right. Giving form to our determination will make it easier to rally everyone together. But most of all, it gives us something to offer our prayers to. Hey, prayers and beliefs. That's where I come in. I'm pretty sure it's obvious what kind of statue we want to build, right? Well, Master will have the final decision. It's too embarrassing to see my own statue, so no thanks. Although if Master were to secretly carve a small wooden bust of me and sleep with it every night, <laughs> just thinking about it makes me excited. That statue would serve the same purpose as a war god statue, right? In that case, shouldn't we base it on the most powerful one here? I ain't gonna tell you who, though. It'll be quite an undertaking, one that would really change the island's appearance. Please take your time and choose carefully, Master. Now let's start the preparations. Huh? That's... I see. The big boss is here. An unbelievably huge enemy is... It's on its way here. Aoink! <sighs> the boar piglets are panicking. I can't blame them. What with all this pressure? Big one decided to show up now, huh? All the other demonic boars must be its young. <laughs> it's like it can understand us? No, it must be my imagination. That towering body. It's just as intimidating as Maraha's the Avatar of Vishnu. That thing is evil. You can tell just by looking at it. Just an evil creature. Nothing more. We need to take it down. That goes without saying. The fact that the existence of such a creature is even allowed is just... <sighs> this island must some sort of protection. Without it, the demonic horse would have sunk it a long time ago. The land here provided such wonderful foundations, yet it is now abandoned. I truly want to express my anger to the ruler of this island. Such evil allowed to run rampant. Only my homeland could match the extent to which... Hmm. Hey you, we are about to start work on our giant Tomomo statue, one that'll live on in the annals of history. That massive body of yours will cast a shadow over its construction. You're a giant nuisance. Well, I quite like it, a huge body like that is worth punching. In the end, you're just the king that is oppressing these boar piglets, right? You're so big and you look so strong, yet the way you tr treat these little ones, I can't forgive it. Shame on you. There's no choice left but to fight. Let's go, Master. Oh boy. We find ourselves in a very... Not a sticky situation. Yes, it is a difficult... Quest. Not one I would have wanted to worry over.
Plan accordingly, folks. So you are not. On my end, though, I have nothing to plan for. Just gonna go in and take his ass down. But I still want to throw it in there anyways. Like. Right. I want to say they'll come close to blowing it in I was expecting it to actually put up a fight. I wasn't expecting to win the first turn. I'll take it though. You get a thank you for whatever reason. It went into the ocean and fled as fast as it could. It sure is a stubborn creature, as resistant as its hide. However, we have heard it pretty badly. It won't meddle with us for a while. Let's hurry up and finish that escape ship. Luckily, it seems like construction is almost complete. Right, Skasaha? Hmm. Skasaha? Hmm? Oh. Alright. Soon. Well, well. Let's go back to work. Hmm? Well, that taken kind of out of the way, yes. I actually took the liberty of procuring the materials, that way I would just jump straight into this instead of just doing it on this video. I know sometimes it's... oh, it's not too much of a hassle of a bother, I guess, but I wanted to take care of it beforehand. So with that being said, I'm building the statue that he's honoring. I really don't say stuff like this often, so be grateful. Just this once, I'm gonna go out of my way and say this. You really did it, Master. Take my hat off to you. This is proof that you completed development of this island. The final monument statue. Final monument. A statue of me. Man, this is so freaking cool. You really got a regal look to it, right? Yep, yep. A lot's happened since we reached this island, but I feel a sense of accomplishment when I look up at this thing. Alright, Master. Both me and the, this big version of me are watching you. So let's use this momentum to finish building our escape ship. <laughs> so got my mana prism. The mortar. <laughs> yes, mortar. It's adorable. I will restart construction once completely cleared. Well, I won't do the reconstruction at least up until after this quest is complete. Oh, I mean, after I complete clearing the shop. And even when I say clearing the shop, it just means getting all the items, which should be easy. Only exhaust. I'll only exhaust. Hmm. I'm curious how the second part will work. Cause they should have done it like go a journey to the west where we use the same craft as well technically we didn't no yes we did in addition to hmm. but that's just me sorry not trying to get too distracted here let's go ahead and jump into the next quest and it's a more from looks of things Fighting a board twice, so 
I'll take the same party. There's no point in changing it. At least for me anyways. By that logic, I should have brought in my single target hitters. Final section. Farewell, beloved uninhabited island. Hmm. That should do it. We we finished it. We finally finished the escape ship, master. Fa -fa it was a pretty long, hard journey. I have no other way to describe it. I think it's a good ship, although we, although we really won't know how she handles the sea until we take her out. Don't worry about who'll take the helm either. You can leave that to us. This time I'm going on a cruise with Master. Romance on the high seas. Hee <laughs> hee. Oh, that reminds me. You had to do that at the bow. What was it? Right, the Titanic thing. Damn it, Keo. Come on, let's do that together, dear. Oh, you don't have to be embarrassed about it. Wouldn't it be cool if we stuck some metal plates onto this thing? Some horns? Or maybe spikes? I guess our fun vacation is about to end. Oh well, it doesn't matter. I'm sure the image of my beautiful summer self has been seared into Master's mind. Once we're back in Caldea, I will activate my secret move, Tumbleball Subliminal Message. Master won't be able to rest again without seeing swimsuits. Hmm, <laughs> the poor, poor pig would seem to be happy for us. Oi! 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 Well, it's almost as if they're clapping. Thank you. Say, Skasaha, can't these little ones ride with us? Impossible. I didn't design this ship with their numbers in mind. I've cast runes on the ship's body so it may adapt to all kinds of situations. However, that means it's also required very, de very delicate magical adjustments. We won't be able to set sail with them on board. Is that so? Too bad. Aye. But that big demonic boar is still on this island, right? If we leave these little ones here... And they might not be able to live safely. That's right. The possibility does exist. I would have liked to rid them of that problem, but well... Hmm. <laughs> Would you look at that? The solution came to us. Grrrr. Back for more. Look at the wound we inflicted earlier. It hasn't healed yet. We can do it now. We just might be able to kill it. Master. If we jump aboard right now, we can finally leave this place. Master. But... Master. You owe a lot to these war pickles. Huh. Let's fight for the peace of this island. Heh, I expected nothing less from you. Well said, Master. The Knights of the Round Table are not assembled. My beloved Hound Cabal is not here. There is no army under my command. But nevertheless, for the briefest of moments, this island was our kingdom. And those little ones behind us were its people. How can I call myself a king without fighting for the people? Let's go, master. Ooh, that's the only thing I can say, folks. All we're finding is boards just so we can secure our free copy of Skasaha. Oh boy, you should take a hit. I suppose I could try to charge a blade, but it won't really make a difference. I should have brought in my head temporarily swapping out Mama Raiko for Joan of Arc How dare you! This is gonna kill you already. And that damage you inflicted? Half gone. It'll have to do. Hmm. Kinda tempted just to go. Oh, cool. 
you won't be able to successfully. Well, we'll see. You will uh, give him a chance. He may be actually able to pull it off. Sorry folks, I'm trying not to get too distracted here. So, as I mentioned before, like I said, just temporarily swapping the team so I can have two single hitters versus that one beast. Just for this battle. So strong. Girl, girl. My, my. I'm amazed at its stubbornness. I expected it to be strong, but to think it would have such incredible stamina. I thought it was used to exterminate monsters. Could I be getting weaker? Hmm. It's quite a tough enemy. Its presence here must mean that, yes, this. Girl, girl. That glance. What's it looking at? Oh no, the escape ship. Grrr! It's charging! Damn, this is bad! We'll never make it. That charge will destroy the ship on impact. Oh no, we won't make it in time. I. <laughs> the boar piglets, they're forming a wall. Formed a wall, you mean? The m demonic boar bowled them all over, but at least now it's changed course. The ship's safe. Grrr. Oi! They made another barricade. Don't just stand there, help them! Oh no, over and over again. Look at how many poor piglets have been knocked out, cold. So thanks to them, at least we made it in time. We're in position now. Leave it to us. Oh. Even with your combined strength, there was no way you could have defeated such a huge beast. You knew that, didn't you? And yet you still protected our ship. Silly piglets. Had the bow been destroyed, we could have been together a little more. Mr. Big Boar, sorry. Most likely there's no place here for you. This is their island. Grrr. Yeah, I know you're big and they're small. You both need to survive and then eventually you die. You're both the same animal. So why do they get the island, not you? You're thinking how unfair it is, right? I know how you feel, but I can tell you exactly why. Because they're weak. They're short-lived. I mean, because they surely can't oppose your strength. We are strong and have the power to protect them, so that is what we will do. Our purpose is to protect the weak. <sighs> yes, in a word, I suppose that's just my selfishness. The weak die out, and those with power control the land. It's like that everywhere. But you know what? I'm Marie Antoinette. I'm known as the most selfish girl in the world. This is the end, Master. Let's finish him off. Ooh, that's all I can say.
either one. <laughs> Although I believe Joan of Arc Alter can dish out more damage. Actually, no, they might be about the same. No. It just depends on who goes first. <laughs> Well, that summer Skazaha is now our temporary servant. Kinda sad though. Part one is grindy. It's still doable. We did it. It stopped moving and sinking to the bottom of the ocean. Counterattack success successful. Nice work, Master. I guess even a big war like that isn't enough to kill me. Not like death by war is a common occurrence anyway. Oi! Oi! Ah, yes, that's right. Eventually, everything will be fine now. That big bully's gone. Oink, oink! Foo! Oh no, fowl has got that don't replace me look on his eyes again. It's okay, Fowl. I'm looking at you in celebration of our victory, just like always. Foo! Foo! -foo. <laughs> Even you wouldn't be able to take a tank damage from that type of giant animal. At first, I was thinking to myself, how convenient, how, how inconvenient, what kind of island is this? Now it actually feels nostalgic. Who knew yeah, I'd be this emotional? I've grown quite attached to this island. Yes, it's amazing. I guess that's because we all put an effort to make this place easy for us to live in. Marie, it's time to say goodbye. Yes, I understand. It's quite regrettable, but... Oh, Oh, don't cry like that. Please live a happy life here. From your perspective, we may have very well ruined this island with all the things we built. However, please feel free to enjoy the food and all that in the field. You feel like it. You can do, even do something new with, with all of it. I Goodbye. It was fun. Oi. Those little ones. It's kind of sad with them not around, huh? Is that so? I'm, I'm fine. However, it seems we still have a problem. The ship has been rocking really hard. Is he really gonna be okay? It was the best ship I could build with a lot of time. It is probably protected by rooms as well, no need to worry. Perhaps you are questioning our skills at the wheel? Just so you know, the ship's running fine. We haven't really decided what course it will take though. No worries, I am sure we will reach somewhere if we just sail straight ahead. You just say whatever you want, don't you? Is that compass even working? Line is not good, you know? At any rate, we have plenty of food stored up. So nothing is more important than food, I made sure of that personally. I don't mind where we end up, just as long as it allows us to contact Caldea. You're right, let me try it right now. It wouldn't surprise me if we could already. So you're saying you don't even know when we'll be able to reach, get in touch with them again? Man, now this is gonna be a long voyage. Well, we had a relaxing island vacation, so why not an elegant ocean vacation next? If you are still gonna be in swimsuits, yeah? We know how to take a hint. It means we men are still supporting roles. We'll be good and sit on the sidelines. I've already had enough fun on that island in my own way. Perhaps I will quietly stay in my cabin and play Hanafuda. A Japanese card game? Hmm. For some reason I remember playing it. Yeah, that'll help us kill some time. So there you have it. You probably won't see us again until we're back in Chaldea. Don't worry. We'll behave. <laughs> Maybe Tamo has the right attitude. There's no way of knowing when we'll reach land. 
Why even worry about it at all? As long as we just relax and enjoy ourselves on the ship, like we did on that island, then we may not have a problem. Senpai, is there anything you want to do out in the open waters? I guess we can pretend we're pirates. What? Don't tell me, Master. You always wanted to be a pirate. Why didn't you tell me earlier? Very good. Very good. <laughs> I will teach you everything about being a pirate personally. Very personally. Day and night. Hey, you two. At least one of you focus on steering the ship. So is this how the story concludes? Servant, Assassin, Scassahada. 環境に合わせて冷気をいささか調整してみたがまあこんなもので構わんだろうよろしく頼むぞふー Okay, raise her if you need her, folks. I will raise her in time. Okay. Well then, let's see. Let's see. Now the question of unlock for yes. Mystery Zone Storm. That's by far the hardest quest to achieve. And with all the hard quests unlocked and golden apples to boot. Like as I was saying, with the golden I mean, with the storm quest unlocked now, farming will be more efficient, but I had to proceed with caution with these battles because I feel like they'll be even more difficult. Probably do separate videos well, videos containing the tickets and videos containing I fail to understand why we wouldn't want to reset them all. Is there like a cutscene for all of these? No, there isn't. So might as well dismantle all of them all at once. There's no special cutscene. So it looks like they included all the quests in here just because. I mean, it's nice. Although, what bothers me is that the red quest is still there. It's fine, though. So, from here on out, I'm pretty much gonna work my way towards acquiring them. <laughs> I could go after all the. Blaze of Wisdoms and race Kasahat just by herself, but I, as much as I hate to say it, I don't really have a need for her support. She'll be nice to have along afterwards once everything's taken care of. For right now, though, my priority is the shop. Not like I'll be recording my grinding session because who wants to see me grinding, right? 
You've already seen enough of that throughout the whole event. So with that being said, folks, this will be the conclusion. I will probably take the liberty of doing the other cutscenes and then make a separate video with that. But again, beforehand, I'll collect all the materials, so everything will be nice and neat. Anyways, though, this was fun. I hope you guys all uh, made it this far and unlocked the storm quest because those are the quests that you need in order to farm better places. I'll tackle them and see, and give them my judgment's worth, and hopefully they're not that difficult. Of course they'll be difficult, but I'm hoping they're not that difficult. In any case, though, good luck on your gacha rolls if you're still rolling the gacha, and good luck on the quests if you're still catching up. As always, this is your host, Old Valorox, and next video will probably be the subsequent cutscenes, but we'll see.